Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Pell Rider D2. A cousin of the Dollahand and the Pell Rider er, Calvary used as a stopgap by the Titans as they developed newer suits. Namely the uh, GM Quell for example and then later Barzam and so on and so on. But in game this is a 450 to 500 cost. Uh, ground and space capable support with a ballistic resistance of 14, a beam resistance of 16, a melee resistance of 18, a range strength of 23, a melee strength of 22, a movement speed of 120, and a thrust gauge of 55. Very good stats for a support of this level. And for parts, we have close range of 11, medium of 14, and long range of 10. This is a medium range suit, ladies and gentlemen. For equipment, we actually don't have too many options, and it reflects a lot of what the Pell Rider Calvary did. Considering this is effectively a successor to the Pell Rider Calvary. We have the Hyper Beam Rifle, which is a chargeable heat-based beam rifle. It's one of your two longest range options here. We have the standard issue style of beam saber effectively. We have head mounted Vulcans enhanced, slightly better than one year head Vulcans, but eh, they're good for building up stagger or uh, making Vulcan charges at people. Then we have the D2 Shuriken Gatling gun, which is a fairly fast firing Gatlin. It's got decent range for the level and it can do some pretty good damage on people once you've gotten to uh, focus on them a bit, but it's not anything that great. So I would not rely on this. Be willing to switch out as quick as you can. Then we got the D2 Shuriken ML or missile launcher, which has a better range less ammo but it can do some pretty substantial damage i use it to effectively smack people and uh it's surprising that it can make a lot of people back out real quick especially generals if they weren't uh, expecting to take a heap load of damage right off the bat then we have the d2 shuriken mega beam which is a required focus weapon so you do have to stop and you do have to focus it it does some pretty decent damage and it has some pretty good range so sniping options you have your hyper beam rifle and you have this and then of course we have the slide shield which is a large size shield which is just nice to have for skills we have high performance radar level 2 High Performance Scope Level 2, Observational Data Link, Scouting Parallel Processing Device, High Performance Aerospace Gimbal, Leg Shock Absorbers Level 3, which is pretty good, Melee Combo Controller, that's pretty nice to have on this unit, High Spec Ambeck, Forced Injector, which is fantastic, and of course, because of what it's related to, the composite weapon system optimization, making it very useful to move between the shuriken uh, weapon options. As to what I think of this unit, considering its history, I actually think it's a pretty good support. It's good for really aggressive teams and for those that want to be a little bit closer to their generals and their raids. It's a good follow-up, it's good at helping out in a lot of cases, and it has some capability of defending itself, unlike a lot of supports. So in terms of supports, it is not what I would say the first choice I would make for, a, for someone who enjoys being in place to snipe. So, Support wise, this is a very aggressive support and it pays off to be at least be hanging around your front line. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hey, welcome to the match everybody. Hope you're having a good time. I had pulled this suit out in a while before I just decided to try to run a match for uh, shits and giggles and uh, well, 
I was a bit surprised. Now, this is one of those special ones where the spawn points were altered. So it was um, very interesting. <laughs> I tried to run Hildolfer earlier on the same map setup, and it turned into a disaster. Um, but hey, we're going to start out by immediately moving over here because I want to grab this position to uh, fill out what's going on with the, uh, the other team. And I came up here and I'm like, okay, well, they split. I'm going to take a shot, miss. And I'm basically going to see what my team is uh, up to. Now, right now, they're doing pretty good as we uh, hit him in the, give him a good old bop. I see him going off wide, so I'm like, okay, they're trying to flank me right now. And I'm going to try to hold my position as much as I can. And one's going to come in to uh, give me one heck of a help. And uh, he's going to get hit, but we're going to charge up and then catch him right there so he can't follow up. And we're going to just keep pestering him up until the point where he's going to decide that he's going to come up and get me. And we're going to get him before he can actually get up here and do anything about it. Knock him down. Keep taking shots at our uh, guy down here. Now, I'm switching through the uh, shirt and weapons as quick as I can. And I wanted to catch him. I figured if I fire too early, I do. And we'll get him with the beam rifle, though. And I'm going to switch over to the missiles. Pop him over there. Yeah, I got him with one, but we're going to get him with the beam rifle. Now... Right now, they haven't been able to dislodge me from this position, even though I'm missing some of my shots. Now, Four's going to come in to help out. I'm going to fire, accidentally hit him with it. Um, again, not perfect, but we're going to wait, miss again. And in a couple seconds, he's going to maneuver himself into a position where we're going to be able to finish him off. And then switch over here to see what's going on. Now I'm going to get hit by that uh, Afrit Jaeger, I believe, and we're going to take a shot miss. But it's going to convince me in a minute that I need to uh, move up because uh, I need my team needs a little bit more support and I only have so many weapons that really can reach out and touch someone. So we're going to take another shot here, miss, and I'm going to decide it's time to move up. So I'm going to drop down here, I'm going to move forward in an effort to uh, help my guy miss. I'm going to switch over. There is a bit of a uh, timer on the, uh, the Gatling, just so you're aware. We're going to charge this up. I'm going to hold because I don't want to hit one. We're going to fire, miss. And I'm going to try to move up, pop around into that, uh, I believe that was a raid. No, I'm probably wrong on that one. I might be getting units mixed up here. And I'm going to move over here to this other position. Just because I want to get a couple angles. And I kind of wanted to get them to sit there and shoot at me. And uh, take that fire support. We're going to get pushed. We're going to hit him in the legs. We're going to drop down here. Tilt so we can use the shield for protection. And our dude's going to come up and give us a bit of defense. We're going to charge. He's going to move away out of our shot range. We're going to hit the side. And I notice I'm going to get attacked from the side. So it's like, yeah, you know what? Time to jump out of the way. And we're going to just pester him. Um, kind of following up and helping put pressure on with our guy. And that's one of the things this unit can help really well with. I'm going to bulk and kill him out of disrespect, I guess. We're going to get another kill right there. And the thing is, is uh, with a team pushing, you can really follow up and be annoying attack. And uh, here's our good old Dolahan friend. We're going to wait for him and fire. Catch him twice. Catch him a third time. He's going to come after us. We're going to just jet away. And I'm going to uh, do a little wiggle maneuver. Uh, oddly enough, it gets people to try to take a shot at you. And some, a lot of times they will miss. Don't know why, but we're going to back off. We're a bit unhealthy at the moment. Um, help follow up on the doll hand and then get back to pushing by just throwing some fire up because I'm trying to trip this guy up and open him up for my team to get more involved in. Um, the tree's going to block our sight a little bit, but the Kapool is not going to pay attention. We're going to get him with a 1-2. Then we're going to come up and get him with another down swing. 
And we're gonna bounce back. The uh, refined Barzan is gonna go up there. We're gonna get back up on the building. And boom! He's almost dead. We're gonna head Vulcan at him a little bit. We're gonna switch over and uh, throw some fire on the uh, Afrique Jaeger again. Or Jaeger, whichever way. I always find St. Jaeger's a little bit fun. Turn around, fire into the uh, doll hand. Or not the doll hand, it's the um, doll mill. Sorry about that. <laughs> These damn names, man. I know what unit I'm talking about, I'm just saying the wrong one. So we're going to take him out. And I'm in a pretty strong position. I got a lot of room to wiggle. I'm not being pressured at the moment. And most of my weapons have at least access to uh, their targets. We're going to charge, fire, hit him in the arm, hit him again with that beam rifle follow-up. That's kind of what I like to do is use the, uh, the mega beam and then switch over to the rifle as a follow-up. Help take him out. And uh, I'm going to push down a little bit. I'm going to come up onto this just to help dissuade slightly on the, uh, the melee attack. I'm going to get more aggressive than I should at this point when I was yelling at my cat for uh, attacking something. And we're going to move up. And I'm going to put myself in a bad position due to sheer um, <laughs> aggression. Um, now I'm not going to do anything too horribly, but at this point I got their whole team breathing down my neck. And I don't really have any, the tools to deal with that. So there's our first death. And we've recovered from death by Super Rice. And we're going to uh, drop back in. I'm going to try to help number two a little bit by throwing a little bit of fire. And then I'm going to switch over to here. I see the Domel. So I'm going to take some shots at him. Uh, he's the most threatening person to me at the moment. And we're going to start putting some uh, shots in the Jaeger. I'm going to get hit from back, and I'm going to decide to turn around and uh, say hello to the Kapool. Which is actually a fantastic unit if you have a chance to use it. And we're going to do a little bit of dancing. I'm trying to build up the stagger, but he realizes that and starts pushing me. But I don't get the counter on that because, you know. And we're going to back off. I don't care if one gets the kill. He's going to get the kill, and then we're going to come over here so that we can help push on the last couple seconds. I flub a few of my switches, pop around into uh, the Gaplant XYZ version, I don't know. And here we are. Look at that pose of that Barzam resign, it's pretty cool. And we got one board spot and second place. Thanks for joining me, bye bye